In many ways, the fight against cancer is a quest to create order out of chaos. We look at transformed cells and see a multitude of abnormalities. And yet, with continued searching, patterns emerge, common pathways. Some cells exhibit dysregulated signal transduction. Others are transformed in ways that affect cell integrity and proliferation. These patterns of malignant growth checkpoints provide a number of promising targets for cancer therapy. The question is where should researchers focus their efforts? Ideally, one would like to target a central mediator that is active in a number of abnormal pathways, a key link to the malignant behavior of cells with many different mutations. This is the premise of Farnesyl transferase inhibition. The enzyme Farnesyl transferase is a logical target because it affects the migration of proteins that are active in a number of signaling pathways and in cell division. The enzyme transfers a Farnesyl group from Farnesyl pyrophosphate to its target proteins. This transfer causes the proteins to become more lipophilic and move to membranes where they can then take part in cellular signaling and effector functions. The inhibition of Farnesyl transferase impedes membrane localization and may also shunt protein processing to other pathways. Farnesyl transferase inhibitors have great potential in cancer therapy because of the important roles farnesylated proteins play in malignant growth. These proteins include RAS, an oncogene-encoded protein that is present in many cancers. RAS is a key protein involved in the signal transduction pathway of growth factor receptors that results in increased cell proliferation. Farnesylation may also be critical to the Rho B protein, which is involved in cytoskeletal organization and adhesion, and also in gene expression. Inhibition of Farnesyl transferase shunts the processing of Rho B toward geronal geronylation, which can reverse aspects of the malignant phenotype and induce apoptosis. Farnesylation directs localization of the lamins, including lamin B, which are required for the formation of the nuclear membrane. And it is also essential for centromere-associated proteins that are involved in mitosis. Given the broad functionality of farnesylated proteins, treatment with a potent and specific farnesyl transferase inhibitor may have multiple beneficial anti-tumor tissue effects, including suppression of proliferation, inhibition of angiogenesis, and promotion of apoptosis. Preclinical investigations have, in fact, demonstrated these effects in vitro and in animal models. The next step is clinical research. Clinical trials are now underway in a number of tumor types, including pancreatic and colorectal cancer, acute myelogenous leukemia, non-small cell lung cancer, and breast cancer. From theory to reality, Farnesyl transferase inhibition is expanding the possibilities in the fight against cancer. Janssen Research Foundation and Orthobiotech Oncology are proud to be involved in this important area of cancer research. <laughs>